based on the graph on the right for what values of x is y positive. We are looking for the points with y values that are greater than zero. So these points are above the x-axis. And they're in the first and the second quadrant. We are talking about these points on the graph. So the question now becomes, what are the x values of these points? The x values are all the x values that are here. They're in between x equals negative 1 and x equals to 3. We are excluding x equals negative 1 because the y value right here is 0. And we are excluding 3 because the y value here is also 0. So the answer to A is the open interval from negative 1 to positive 3. the domain of the function. The domain of a function is the set of all possible x values. Because this is a parabola, there are no restrictions on what x can be. So the domain is the set of all real numbers. We can write it like this. Or in interval notation form, it would go from negative infinity to positive infinity. C. Find the range of the function. The range of a function is a set of all possible y values. The parabola goes like this and has the highest point right here at the point 1, 4. So the highest y value is 4. So the range of the function is the interval from negative infinity to 4 and it's close right, at 4 because we are including the number 4. D. Determine the value of f of 1. f of 1 is the y value when x is 1. When x is 1, the y value is the highest point that we just found. So that point is 1, 4, and the y value is 4. So f of 1 equals 4. E, the x-intercept. x-intercepts are the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we're talking about this point and this point that we also looked at earlier in part A. This point right here is a negative 1, 0. And this point is 3, 0. the answer for part E. Point minus one zero and the point 
F, the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. This point is where the graph crosses the y-axis, and the point, the coordinate, at this point is 0, 3. The answer to part F is zero three. Part G. For what values? Plural. There are more than one x value. For what values of x is f of x equal to three? This question can be restated this way. The y value is 3. What are the corresponding x values? So the y value is 3. So we go up to y equal to 3. Right here. And find the x values. We see one point here. And then another point here. This point is 0, 3, and this point is 2, 3, 0, 3, 2, 3. So the two x values are x equal to th 0 for this one, and x equals to 2 with this point.